A crime in focus. One of two men accused of murdering Cassidy Rainwater is expected to appear in court in, on Friday in Dallas County. Since James Phelps and Timothy Norton were officially charged with killing Rainwater and abandoning her body on Wednesday, we've learned several new details about what led to those arrests. Bailey Stroll is breaking down a timeline of the case this evening. Bailey? Yeah, Steve, in the past 24 hours, we've learned Cassidy Rainwater's murder happened about a month before a relative reported her missing. Authorities say Rainwater was likely staying with Phelps on a property on Moon Valley Road in early July and then was murdered a couple weeks later. The latest court documents made public in Cassidy Rainwater's disappearance and death claim her alleged killers, James Phelps and Timothy Norton, had planned her murder the night of July 24, 2021. A month later, Dallas County deputies began their search when a relative reports Cassidy missing on August 25th. That day, a deputy goes to the home on Moon Valley Road where Rainwater was staying, but sees no sign of Cassidy at the cabin. A week later, on September 1st, deputies go to the cabin again and this time meet James Phelps. He admits Cassidy had been living there, but claims she suddenly left in late July, mentioning she might have moved to Colorado. Two weeks would pass until a new break in the case. On September 16th, the FBI receives a cyber tip containing photos of Cassidy, both in a cage alive and others after her body was mutilated. In the days following, James Phelps and Timothy Norton would be arrested and charged with felony kidnapping. The sheriff's office reports Phelps refused to answer any questions without an attorney, while Norton confessed to helping restrain and kill Rainwater. Fast forward to October 4th, when someone sets fire to the cabin on Moon Valley Road. State fire marshals reported it to be arson, but no one has been arrested. Phelps and Norton would appear in court for the first time hours later on October 5th. But little else was known in the weeks following that hearing until November 17th, when prosecutors charged Phelps and Norton with first-degree murder and abandonment of a corpse. Authorities say remains that were rainwaters turned up in Phelps' cabin, and they found other evidence on a property nearby belonging to the late Bill Rainwater, Cassidy's grandfather. And we're expected to see Phelps again in court in Dallas County tomorrow. A hearing scheduled for 1.30 in the afternoon will likely discuss the new charges as well as many motions filed by his attorney. Norton's next court hearing is scheduled for next Tuesday. Bailey Stroll with the update this evening. Thank you, Bailey.